Okay, Jeff, your box has arrived. It is a bit on the big side, so I'm not gonna be able to actually uh, open it up here on camera. I'm gonna do that off camera and then bring what's in it over here. I'll be right. Okay, this is a bit more manageable. Make our way. Okay. Right. Well, let's have a look. Let's have a look what you sent me. Be some watches, some components. We will see. Okay, so it should be a panda, a jumbo, and a bullhead. So, three here. Alright, some day wheels. Start with this sachet. Bubble wrap. Let's see what that reveals. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, this is a bullhead. Oh, very nice. JDM. Full head. That is super cool. Very cool. Okay, so JDM. This is a six one three eight zero zero four zero. That's right. Okay, so there's the bull head. Put you to the side here. Try to adjust the camera so we can see everybody. Right. Okay, so you're claiming some issues on this one um, with the hour recording. That, that's usually down to an adjustment not being correct. All right, let's see what we've got here. Next little session of watch goodness. Uh huh, jumbo. Very cool. All right, and the jumbo, unknown service. Um, crystal replacement and complete seal replacement. Okay, Uncle Seiko bracelet. We will see what we can do with that. We've got some bracelets here. Not sure. Not sure. We'll see. We'll uh, we'll get that. That'll be at the end. That's where we'll work on bracelets and things. And then there should be one more. Where are you? Are you still in the box? Perhaps. Yes, you are. Move the bracelets to the side here. Last one. Okay. And a lovely panda. Okay. Very cool. Everybody unwrapped here. Very good. All right. So, an 8020, one of my favorites, personal personal favorites with a I think an aftermarket bracelet, which is fine. So that's the I think these come from eBay. Um, 
There's a seller there that makes very nice bracelets that I actually use on some watches that come without bracelets. Okay, so it's quite the trio of chronographs, 6138 chronographs. Um, you have a fairly extensive write-up here that I'm going to follow. Um, so the Panda, yeah, full check, okay, service, yeah. Uh, sweet pan looks bent. Mm, perhaps it looks okay. Um, yeah, I'll take a very close look under. Um, the thing about well, it looks like a nice original crystal actually. That's pretty cool. The thing about these is, all right. So let's just take a closer look. Um, so on your panda. We'll check the numbers. We'll do that now. We'll put some power in. It's easy to wind these because, not not that it's something you want to do every day, but you can put power directly in through the through the crown. So we'll go ahead and wind this one. And you stated that it had been perhaps serviced. Um, you know, if I'm going to go in far enough to actually take the dial and the hands and everything off, that's a service. I mean, that, that's actually going in and, and doing the work, um, you know, I, why, I mean, it's a false, false economy if you're going to go in there and spend the time, because um, it's going to take me a while to fully disassemble the movement, and while we're in there, we might as well, might as well do the work. So I think if these numbers aren't showing something great, it may make sense, but they may, they may be good. Yeah, not bad. Okay, give me one second. I'll come come right back. Okay, Jeff. Well, um, this is looking really good, actually. I, I think I think your panda is in is in good shape. I think there's um, there's been a service done. Watches don't run like that. Of course, I want to look under the cap jewels and and kind of get a sense um, of where it is. But you know, maybe my previous uh, statement was perhaps a bit ambitious. Um, I don't really think you're going to need a service. Of course. There's time uh, in taking the watch apart, and you know we're talking not insignificant, um, but of course it can be done. I'll just you know if you want the kanji wheel in there, that's easy. Um, but again, you're you are. I'll, I'll leave it up to you. Um, it doesn't necessarily need a service. Uh, if you want me to tear the watch down and make sure that all the all the seals and everything are right, that's of course easy enough, and I'm happy to do that. Um, I will take a close look at your, um, at your dial and your, um, and your hands. Um, but you know, in terms of the movement, it's, it's in great shape. So this is, it needs adjustment, but other than that, it's fine. Okay. So let's move on. Okay. Let's move on to your JDM bullhead. Okay. So this one, um, you know, looks really good. This original case lines, all the brushing, everything's really nice. Um, I will note, just um, so that we're clear about the condition as, as received, um, when you look closely at the dial, you see that there are some marks around the sub-register hands. Um, and those are, those are from somebody uh, taking off the hands and, and perhaps not being as wonderfully careful as we'd like them to be. And those are pretty sensitive areas there. Um, they have some scratches. Uh, otherwise, you know, everything looks nice. You have an aftermarket bracelet with a Seiko quartz uh, clasp, which is an interesting combo. Um, I'm pretty sure that is an aftermarket. You can tell by the shape of the uh, these these uh, chiclets, if you will, these pieces of the, of the bone. Um, and you can tell that it, it doesn't quite rotate as it should on this lower lug. So these are these are fashioned a little bit a little bit off. This one I think has been sanded down a bit, but this one is not quite where it should be. Anyway, regardless, it's still very cool. Um, it is running, so it's running okay. I will. Um, you know, you said that it, it definitely needs some chronograph work, and that's that's an adjustment. Um, that I have to make. Um, this one should be serviced. Pretty sure the signal's okay, but it's not. 
it's not perhaps where it should be. Um, and we'll take a close look at all the all the parts and pieces um, as we go. Um, so that's your bull head. And now on to this jumbo, which is a cool one because this is a 3000, which is a, um, a different one than the, the standard, um, what you would see in certain areas. Now, um, the, I'm not sure what you want to do. Um, you know, I'm a big proponent of leaving things just as they are, to be honest. This one's got some resetting issues here. You've got a, got your, um, your bottom hand jumps around a little bit. This may be, let's see, uh, that's a 72. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's an A movement. Um, I think we can adjust some of that out. Um, one thing I will note is that you're missing a considerable amount of um, paint here in the center of your sweep. I'm inclined to leave that alone simply because it's going to be difficult to match uh, everything up and I, I don't think you want me to repaint all the hands. It is an original hand but it's missing some of that yellow. I can I, I'm, I'm a little resistant to try and match it um, simply because it's gonna look like somebody tried to put some paint on it um, but overall condition is pretty good um, now this crystal is a is a V style as you can see here it's got a G which denotes it has this different style of crystal I didn't know that you had a 3000 um, these are very case specific uh, crystals now I can source the glass but this is an all-in-one sort of metal plus glass crystal that's that's sort of popped into place. Um, has a different kind, different style of, of uh, structure than a normal crystal with a gasket. This has a plastic ring that goes around here. Now, I think the crystal is in actually pretty good shape, and I can clean it really well. Um, I'll leave that up to you. I, I'm going to look for a crystal, but finding one is going to be a bit of a challenge. So that may not be something that's easily replaced. I'll let you know what I find. Um, okay, so this one is certainly up for service. It has some issues uh, with that hand and whatnot. So I'm going to make sure that resets back. Okay, well let's let's um, have a look at everybody together. Uh, they're all really cool. I really like the 6138s and you've got quite the quite the representative group here. Very neat. Okay, well, everybody's here. I've got your discs. Um, I've got your bracelet. I've got the watches. Uh, we're going to go with clean up, reseal, um, take this one down, take the day disc out, uh, put your new day disc in, but not service the watch. Um, you want a new crystal. I think this is an original crystal, which is quite nice, but if you want a new one, I'm happy to put one in. Um, this uh, will get a crystal, it will get a service, it will get new seals, uh, we'll take care of this um, oddity over here, which is that your hour hand keeps running, which is not a big deal. I can fix that. It's straightforward. And your jumbo, we'll have to talk about the crystal um, and what you'd like to do if you'd like to leave it in this sort of cool patinated state. Um, but probably a, a full service on this one too, and um, you know, reseal and everything. So cosmetically, I think they're all good. Um, couple little issues here and there uh, that we can take care of but otherwise a great set of watches um, and I'm excited to get started so I'll be in touch and uh, we'll move forward all right thank you so much